Welcome! I started my YouTube channel almost exactly two years ago and it was my way of coping with the lockdown and with all the stress associated with the entire situation that started evolving at that time. Two years after, the situation is evolving to be even more complex, more complicated, and the political and medical situation seems to be uh, more harsh than uh, two years ago when I was starting this channel. However, the plants are, as always, providing me with, me with uh, a sense of peace, a sense of stability, and give me a little bit of hope, especially when they are blooming. This year, just like every year, I bought an amaryllis bulb, and then I bought another one, and then I bought another one, and I ended up with 11 amaryllis plants right now, two of them, the ones in the clay pots, are from the last year. I don't know how many years ago I originally uh, bought them. I always was buying amaryllis bulbs. Maybe last year I didn't. Uh, last year I maybe did not, and these were these are from many years ago, but only one of them bloomed last year. The other one didn't, and I think I took them out from uh, their dormancy a little bit too early because they don't really uh, show any signs of growth except maybe this one. This one is uh, this one is showing here there is a leaf growing but this leaf is very narrow so I'm not sure whether they will bloom. However, I bought nine more and when I was buying them I was buying them according to the picture on the on the box. The blue um, uh, the white ones, the white the ones in a white pot were bought uh, from a grocery store, and on their boxes there was there was no name. Uh, the ones in the black uh, uh, pots are bought at a hardware store, and there were names on the boxes. However, this one was supposed to be this one was supposed to be apple blossom or cherry blossom. I don't remember, and it's not. It's not like it was on the box. So. Probably someone either uh, changed the boxes with the bulbs or removed box, uh, removed the bulbs from the boxes. I'm not sure. Maybe they were before they went on sale when I was buying them. Maybe there was a difference in price. I have no idea. This one is quite beautiful, but it's not something that I bought. So I have no clue what colors and what varieties will be the rest of them. It will be a mystery and it will, it, it will be a nice surprise because everyone that will open will, I'm sure, be beautiful. Uh, this one, if you look at this one, at this bud, I really hope that it will be pure white. One of them uh, I bought uh, in a box that had a pure white picture. So if you look at the stem, and and the, and the, and at the at the flower bud itself, there are no leaves yet. Uh, it's very very light in color. There is no there is no uh, tint of of a pigment in it. So I hope it will be pure white. Look at this stem. Uh, these stems of the flowering uh, uh, amaryllis. They are very dark. They are very dark. And this one, the bud shows that. Uh, the bud shows that uh, the plant itself, the flower itself, will be will be very dark red. The stems are not very dark, but they are certainly darker than uh, than these ones. So so I'm hoping to have one of them at least uh, pure white. This will be the first year when I will have uh, amaryllises that are not red. I was always buying them uh, red and I was paying attention not to buy anything else. Uh, I thought that red were, was the color for an amaryllis, maybe because this was the color of the amaryllis that my mom always had, and I was trying always to recreate that uh, childhood experience. But uh, this year I 
went completely wild and crazy with them <laughs> and, I, and I have more than I can fit in my house. They are just everywhere, it seems. I put them on this table just for the uh, sake of this video, but I, I really don't have space for them. What's interesting is that, uh, look, this one, it has two flower buds. This one, it has two flower buds. This one, the, the, the one on the left, the small one, seems to be a little bit dry. It is small, there is another flower bud that is that is quite large and it will develop into a into a flower soon, but look at the leaves, the leaves are huge. And uh, this one, for example, has two, and these two, have two very healthy flowers, flowering stems and uh, the leaves are just starting to emerge. And uh, here there is one, I hope it will have a it will have a flower eventually. Uh, it has leaves that are growing, however, no flower bud. And this one, this one in the in the black pot, it has a flower bud that is emerging, but also healthy leaves. And so it's quite it's quite interesting to see that the leaves and the flower uh, flower uh, buds are appearing uh, in a different in a different sequence. Uh, in different varieties, for different varieties. As I said, I had these two for years, and for the first few years they bloomed. Last year uh, they didn't, and last year, last summer, after uh, I was able to, put, to take them outside, to put them outside, I transplanted them to a pot that is a little bit bigger than the original one. They were in black pots, just like, just like these ones. Uh, so I planted them into bigger clay pots, and I think it was a mistake. I think it was a mistake because the bulbs uh, didn't grow uh, uh, in these pots. The bulbs didn't grow. The bulbs are about the same size as they were when I planted them here. So what I suspect and from my experience is that if, the, uh, if, uh, if they are in a, in a very tight uh, space, in a very tightly uh, fitted pot, the, the bulb will grow. So maybe that's why maybe they had too much room for the roots to develop and they uh, the roots grew instead of the bulb itself i don't know i will i will have to experiment i have so many of them right now that i will be able to to uh to experiment and try different approaches what i do and i have been usually successful uh in getting them to bloom again except this year i just uh when they start to lose their leaves somewhere in late summer, I just take them to the basement where the temperature is quite low. In winter it will be, I don't know, maybe 15, even less than that degrees Celsius, and it's dark. And I keep them there for a few months, three months, four months, and then I take them upstairs, I start watering them and they grow and they bloom usually. Maybe I took these ones a little bit too early because I was so excited with with the new ones that I wanted to have them all all together. Maybe maybe it was it was too early for them. Maybe I should have waited till I see the signs of growth before taking them uh, out from the basement. Uh, so as I said, I will put those plants when they finish blooming, which will be for different ones, will be at a different time, but they will finish blooming at, the, at around Easter time. Right now it's uh, mid-February. Mid so at around Easter they will all uh, probably be out of, out of the bloom. And then one month after that, somewhere around mid-May, it will be safe to take them outside and to put them in a semi-shade not direct sunlight, not uh, a sun that could scorch them, but, but somewhere in a bright spot, but a little bit sheltered from the, from, the, from the bright sun. Oh, look, 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 look. Will you see that? Oops, there was a cardinal. There was a cardinal on the fence here on, the, on, the, on, the, on my deck. Anyways, I will put them, I will put them, I will take them outside. I will put them in a spot that is a little bit, uh, 
sheltered from the direct sun and then I will be watering them. They will be growing huge leaves and they will be also hopefully growing in size, the bulbs will be growing in size and then at the end of, uh, of, of the summer I will, be, I will put them to the basement and the cycle will, and the cycle will uh, repeat itself again and again and again. One year, and I will have to do something about that this year as well, one year I lost quite a lot of bulbs due to fungus. So it might be necessary for me to treat uh, the plants for uh, funguses, especially that this one, this one, if you look at the at the flower bud, the one that is barely uh, emerging from the bulb, this one is a little bit uh, reddish and has some reddish marks, which might be the indication of a fungal disease. So I will have to do something and to uh, about it and to treat them for fungus before I before I uh, let them get dormant or maybe even before that if I see the signs of of uh, of fungus on them I will show you my amaryllises in about 2 weeks and at that time uh they there will be more of them in bloom at least three of them will be will be blooming at least the ones that have very tall uh, stems right now, very tall flowering stems. Maybe the smaller ones will have larger, uh, larger buds. Maybe there will be some more buds that will emerge. We'll see. Maybe the last year's ones, the ones in the clay pot, will also show some signs of growth. I hope so. But for today, this is it. Thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you find my amaryllises as beautiful as I find them. I really like them and I hope you understand why I find comfort in watching them grow and watching them bloom. Have a great afternoon.